So at, at this point in time, we don't have the luxury of debating and hashing out and, uh, you know, trying to be divisive and cliquish, even sectarian about the name of our creator. Now, personally, it has not been revealed to me what the name of our creator is. I've asked him. I've, I've prayed about it. I've talked to him about it. And at this point, I don't know. I don't know what the true name of the creator is. And I'm talking about our father in heaven. So, that being said, there's lots of people in the past couple, three decades that they will make it a point of fellowship. Either you pronounce the name of the creator, our father, the way they say, or else you're a heretic or something like that, you know. And, and, and you can't fall into that trap. Okay, you can't do it unless our Father in Heaven has personally, or Christ, our Messiah, has personally revealed to you the exact way, perfectly, that his name should be pronounced. If you know that, well, that's something different. But, you know, my, my challenge out there is, have you received that divine knowledge? Well, the scripture says when he comes back, when Christ comes back to the earth, everybody will know his name. And uh, according to Hebrews, our Messiah, Christ, has inherited the name of the Father. So, enough said, right? Enough said. So, if you want to be divisive and sectarian, you know, and, and you know, make it a point of fellowship, you know, I talk to lots of people that use the word God and Lord, and I, I realize those titles are not accurate and so forth. But uh, folks, at this point in time, we all know who we're talking about. We know that we're talking about the father and his son. And so uh, you can be divisive. You can be cliquish. You can do all that stuff, but it's not going to help anybody. So, just a, a quick recap. We have all kinds of archaeological evidence of the name of Yahweh, right? Okay, so in the Paleo-Hebrew, which is one of the oldest forms, almost the oldest form of Hebrew, dating back to thousands of years. And then we have it here, you know, the Paleo-Hebrew, yod heh vav -Hey. And there it is. And I, I, if I remember correctly, it's an Egyptian steel. It's a, a monument. But anyway, it's been recorded for thousands of years. And there it is again, yod heh vav -Hey. There it is. All right, so you got to realize archaeology and all the papyri and the inscriptions and the scrolls, Dead Sea Scrolls, everything has preserved the name. It's not a big secret, okay? Now, 
I always in my videos choose to pronounce it Yahweh. But am I 100% sure that's the exact way it should be pronounced? No, I'm not. And also, you have all these inscriptions in stone, not just papyri, but stone, that, that has these consonants because the ancient Hebrew was not written with vowels. There was no vowels. It was consonants, all right? And if you read Hebrew, you had to fill in the vowels yourself. So, and there's a modern script, yod He vav He. You know, so let's don't be divisive or dogmatic on the name, but I'm pretty sure that the first two consonants and the vowel that comes between them is Yah, Yah. And you can look at all these old inscriptions and please visit this website. This website right here is really good. And, uh, presents a lot of evidence, archaeological evidence. So you have all these inscriptions in stone, and then they have the name there. But then also, this is the 1985 Jewish Publication Society, JPS 1985, translation of the Hebrew into English. And this is a psalm. And in the psalm, it has the Lord. But here in the footnote, what does it have? Hebrew, Yah. <coughs> and it, it occurs dozens of times in the scriptures. In the Psalms especially, but it's short for Yahweh, or however now, however it's pronounced perfectly, but we're sure that the two consonants and the vowel in between it is Yah. Now, why do I say that? Okay, let's flip over to the scriptures. Now, this is a 1998 this is my Bible, 1998 translation. Then Moshe, this is Exodus chapter 15. And the children of Israel sang this song to Yahweh and spoke saying, I sing to Yahweh for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Talking about Pharaoh and his army. Yah is my strength and my song, and he has become my deliverance. He is my El, El, my mighty one, and I praise him, Elohim of my father, and I exalt him. Folks, you would do well to research into these names and the way they're pronounced in the Hebrew and what they mean. But this is an accurate translation, Yah, Yah is my strength and song. Yah is short for Yahweh, or however you choose to pronounce it. Now, let me backtrack just for a second. Jeremiah, that's the anglicized version. His name, Jeremiah's name in the Hebrew is actually Yirmi Yahu. Yahoo. Yah is the last part of his name. Hear me, Yahoo. Now let's let's look at uh, King Hezekiah. Hezekiah's name. His key, Yahoo. You see in the connection there, Yah. How about Isaiah? Yesha, Yahoo. Yahoo. Yah. It's in all their names. And that's why 
I'm 100% positive that this part of our Creator's name is Yah. No matter whatever consonants or other vowels are in the name, I know Yah for sure is preserved in the Hebrew Scriptures, and that's part of His name. So if you don't want to go wrong, in my opinion, Yah. Yah is short for Yahweh or Yahuwah. If it has another consonant and another vowel in the name, but Yah. Yah is biblical, and it's dozens of times it occurs in the Psalms and in the Prophets, in Exodus. So you know that's all you have to to know. You know it's 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 enough. And this is Isaiah chapter 12. In that day you shall say, I thank you, Yahweh, though you were enraged with me, your displeasure has turned back, and you have com comforted me. C-L is my deliverance. I trust and not am not afraid for Yah. Comma, Yahweh is my strength and my song, and he has become my deliverance. Folks, do, do, your, do your homework. Do your homework. It's well documented in ancient history, in inscriptions and in archaeology. This is his name. I know for a fact that Yah is the short version of his name. The rest of it, I'm not certain about. But you cannot go wrong with this because it's in the Psalms, it's in the Scriptures dozens of times. May Yahweh bless you.